We begin with alarming new statistics. 200 coronavirus cases reported in just one day in Mobile County. That is the biggest one day jump since the pandemic began. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson has the health department's reaction. Rachel. Kim Gregg, the health department says this is very concerning. That doubles the positive cases from the day before with no signs of slowing down. Today, I, it nearly took my breath away. Dr. Randy Murphy with the Mobile County Health Department says 203 reported cases is not a good sign. She fears that is our reality. It's just staggering to see the number of cases that are, are being reported. Dr. Murphy says hospitals are stretched thin. She's asking people to avoid emergency rooms if they can and delay elective procedures to help keep hospital beds open. The number of people in the hospital with a COVID positive test um, doubled in just the matter of around seven days. So last week this time we were averaging, you know, 65, 75 um, people in the hospital each day with COVID-19. And this week it has moved into the 150s, 170s, and we're seeing that creep up. Not only are hospitals busy, Dr. Thomasina Sharp says Main Street and Kid Street Urgent Care are seeing around 100 to 130 patients a day, mostly for coronavirus testing. Around 50 at Immediate Care of the South and 100 a day at Compass Urgent Cares. Sharp says more and more patients with the disease are asymptomatic. She urges people to get tested regardless if you are showing symptoms. Our rates among African Americans and um, Hispanics are so much higher than the rates for um, uh, Caucasian and other uh, races. And, and they are also at the highest rate of dying and, and they need to know what their status is. I think it's really important. While the number of cases is going up, the death rate is dropping. Still, Dr. Murphy says she believes more drastic measures should be put in place to contain the spike. She says to continue to follow all guidelines that are in place. Reporting live in West Mobile, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.